Good evening, good morning. I wonder how many night owls are out there apart from me. I didn't realise how um, late it was. It's just gone one o'clock in the morning here in Adelaide. And I'm still working away at these pages. <sighs> Call me crazy. Uh, many have before and I won't disagree <laughs> welcome back to my channel um, <clears throat> I am still working on these pages that I was working on in the last video the one before this one and I did say that uh, I would come back and do a second video uh, to show you the other ideas that I had that I didn't get implemented last time. If I had comments on um, on the video to say that people were interested, well, I you know I didn't actually have anyone say yes. Please put up another video. We want to see the other ideas, but. Um, the couple of ideas I've got are, are okay ones. They're pretty good, um, I thought. Uh, so <sighs> I'm doing another video anyway. <sighs> Glutton of the punishment, I think I am. Anyway, um, after much to do, I have got all three signatures in this journal um it was a very much a tug of war getting them in but uh, i did it i won so i have already started on the first signature uh, the the one i was working on in the other video that was the second signature uh, and now I'm working on the first one um, which is coming along nicely I think uh, so yeah um, I've done a few pages already uh, all bar the first one um, I haven't done anything different that you haven't already seen um, but uh, now I'm going to do some just a, uh, a fairly simple sort of a collage type thing on a page not too much um not too much in the way of layering because as you can see the the journal is already a gator mouth and it hasn't got the journal cards in it yet and i've still got one signature to do so um i can't do too much layering in it uh <clears throat> but uh yeah so um, we're going to get on with that and, uh, yeah, I've got a, I've got a couple of ideas to show you. So, um, I had better get on with it. So I've put a marker for where I'm up to. Here you go. Let's do it. Uh, what I've done already is I have prepared the page. Uh, the, the, the lace trim and the hand dyed silk was already on there from before. That's all machine stitched. Um, but uh, before coming on, I've glued the napkin. Uh, we all know how to glue a napkin, so you don't need to see me do that. And now I'm just going to put a, just a couple of bits and pieces on here um, and 
uh, yeah, it, trying to keep it simple, you know, not not too much, because like I said, we just are running out of room, kind of thing. So I'm gonna pop these here to try and keep the book open as much as possible. I'm sorry, but it's just not going to sit fat enough for me to show you. But uh, so what I'm going to use is still, I've still got all my crap lying around. <laughs> all my lovely lace and bits and pieces is all lying around still. So um, I'm going to use that and um, yeah, just uh, just working out now how much of what I need for this, um, just how much will fit in pretty much. All right, so I'm going to take some of this off because you don't need it all and just working out just how much so I'm going to take that white fabric off there this is this is off of a, a vintage handkerchief um, And I don't know how long I've had this. I've had this for many years. So I'm going to pop that there. Um, I've got this gorgeous, um, uh, it's a vintage perfume bottle, which I found online and printed off and put it on backing some card just to give it a bit more oomph so if I'm going to pop that there and then probably going to pop a couple of flowers in or something Not sure if it really needs it. Um, I might not. I might just yeah. I might not need to, but I do have. Um, uh, name plates, which I might pop in. Yep. Alrighty, let's do this. So I'm just. This is just another idea that you can do. It's not. It's not um, a new. There's lots of. Uh, junk journalers out there that are doing this sort of thing on their pages <clears throat> but if you're new to junk journaling um you might not you know this might be something you haven't thought of yet i don't know uh but uh, i often do um mixed media in my journals um as in painting and stencils and uh, gluing on paper and, you know, collage work and, um, yeah, just a variety of um, bits and pieces go on a page. Uh, one journal I, I drew a dragonfly. I did the, like, the, the collage part. And it was two or three layers of paint here and there and some stencils and 
um, I used various types of um, mediums for it. I uh, used brusho and uh, what else did I use? I used um, acrylic paints um, and uh, glitter and yeah, all sorts on it. So, and it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, if you're into mixed media, you can do that sort of thing. But you do need to prepare your page. Uh, to, especially if it's um, uh, on, like, copy paper weight or... Anything under like a hundred GSM and under, you would really need to prepare your page for that sort of thing. Uh, otherwise, um, the paper won't take that amount of mixed media, and that's so. Uh, but it 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 is doable. Right, so I'm just going to pop this on here, like so. <sighs> Glue everywhere. I hope that's straight. And how's everyone been doing? I hope you've all been well. Um, I've uh, been getting myself ready for Inktober, uh, which I'm looking forward to, um, and which also might be... Um, uh, a reason why I might not be doing I might only be doing one video a week for the for the journals because um, uh, Inktober is going to take up a bit of my time and that but I will do my best to uh, um, get a video out at least at the very least I'll get one out um, hopefully more but yeah um, and that will be for all of October uh, I'll still work on uh, journals every now and then because I still do need to you know get some things made but um, I don't know if I'm going to have time for editing I, I'll actually do videos because you know I can do the videos and then um, save them upload them to the PC and edit them later but uh, I won't get time to edit them I don't think in October I could be wrong you know we'll see you never know uh But I'm looking forward to getting that done. It's one very big challenge. I have to do an ink illustration one every day. And um, 
I'm going to do a video for it and I've got to do a Instagram story and a story for my Facebook page and you know all that sort of thing so uh, and you know because I'm promoting my art as well so yeah it's pretty full on all right so that's that's that idea essentially um probably won't do another one like that in this signature so that's that page which is similar same sort of thing as the front page is that in screen slightly yes there we go all right and i'll put a page tab on there oh yeah and that reminds me mm, page tabs <sighs> I made all the page tabs and really wanted to use them in these journals and didn't think of that when I was stitching lace to the edges of the pages. However, you can get around it just by cutting the lace off the bit that you need. Um, but on this, I did it on um, this one here. Is it this one? No, not that one. There's another one in here that I did it for. Here. This one here, I cut the lace just in the section that I needed, but I didn't cut the lace piece off completely. I glued it to the back of the um, tab. All right. So yeah, if you um, are in the same predicament as me, not planning ahead, and then decide, oh, I want to put page tabs on, but I've already put lace on paper on the pages, you can't you can't get around it. All right. So that's that. Now the next thing I want to show you, I'm. Not sure where I'm going to put this, and I have to back it, so I probably won't do it for this this uh, time round. Um, I'm going to use it as a large pocket. So all it is is a book page with a bit of paint and then a stencil, and it comes out really quite cool. And the smaller book pages. They're okay for um, pockets. So I'm, that's what I'm going to use. But I need to put it onto some uh, heavier weight, like some uh, 200 GSM maybe. Just something to give it a bit of uh, stability because it is vintage paper. So I'm not going to do that just now because that just takes time. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you was, let's find a page to put it first. Uh, let me see, where shall we pop it? Not on there, I did a... This is in the second seat. Do it in this one. We'll do it on here. All right. So, um, I have got some really cool brads that I want to use. I haven't had a chance to use them yet. I actually couldn't find them, and uh, I came across them this morning. So, um. I'll get them out of the plastic so I can show you. Got flowers on them. So they're pretty cool. Get rid of that. If I can 
can get it off the card. Okay. I don't think this is a new idea either. Oh, my whole punch. There it is. I'm pretty sure that this has been done before, but it's just another way of um, embellishing a page without taking up space on your page too. I don't know if the whole punch is going to go through the um, lace, but we'll see. Can't see what I'm doing. We'll find out. Actually, if I pop it there, I have to put a... Okay, where will I pop it? I need to put it on something a bit thicker. What about... No. Oh, I don't know. I want to pop it on something. On this one. This one's a bit thicker. And I've got tabs somewhere. Um... Do you have whole reinforcers? Uh, you could use whole reinforcers or you could put um, those thingamies in there. Uh, and so what I've got is I've got two, two cards which I'm going to pop on, but first, before I put the, um, I need to get something, so I'll just pause this and come back. Okay, I'm back now. Um, I've got a piece of printed vellum here and what I want to do is I just want to create a small pocket just um, doesn't I don't want to create it too deep because the card's not a very big card so and I'm just gonna trim it all up make sure that it's straight that would be helpful but we all know how crappy at cutting I am so um, yeah, so this has got some writing on it. Um, I think it's like a um, it looks like some sort of business advertising or something or other with a key over the top of it. But I'm going to pop this piece of vellum just here. I need to just trim it up again. So, just going to pop some glue 
uh, essentially I'm just creating a pocket so you know glue it down three sides And I'm putting it on the front of the tag. Here's my tissue that I was using. All right, so and then what I want to do is this one's got uh, stay together forever. Oh, how sweet. So I'm going to pop that one over the top and then I'm going to punch my hole. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to pop the bread through and put it on the page. And the pocket, you'll see in a minute what I'm going to do with the pocket. Put something in it, yeah, I know, yes, yes, I'm going to put something in it. All right, so now that has created this cute little decorative bit. Oh, I've got a um, tuck spot here, double tuck spot as well, but that's okay. Um, and I'm just going to pop in a... Selection of tickets that will stick out above the, um, they have to be able to, yeah, stick out the top of the um, pocket so that they can be taken out. Okay, that should do. All right. So this is just a little something for whoever ends up with this journal. So they've got a supply of um, ephemera that they can use throughout the journal. So we'll just pop those in here. Here. And if you're making a journal for yourself, well, then you've just got a little tuck spot for um, a few of little supplies that you might need at some point or other. I just need to make sure that's stuck. And of course you could add some lace to it if you really wanted to. Um, I'm not going to because as you can see I've already got way too much in here. So... That one is too tall. All right. So 
there we are and they're hidden sort of kind of hidden underneath there so there we go and that it can be written on so on the back all right so that's another idea that i had that well it's not original it's just one i have used before i've seen before and remembered all right so we've done that and we've done that and um i guess we could use this page i'm going to pause the video while i do this because it'll be a lot easier for me if I I'm gonna draw on there with my pencil. I don't have a pencil. Goodness not organized. All right, no, I'll, I'll just do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is on the side of the page, right on the very edge, I'm going to draw some flowers. Um, and they're not going to be overly complicated. Um, basic flowers, pretty much. But I'm, I'm going to do them in a pencil that I can see. That's a grey and I can't see it. Is there any lead in this one? I won't be able to see. Oh, hang on. There's a HB. Oh, just. Just got a little bit of lead. That's all I need. All right, so I'm going to sketch in right on the edge some basic flowers uh, pop the circle the center in there All right, and some leaves. Right on the edge, if I can. You'll see why I'm doing it on the edge in a minute. Um... Better put the center in. I don't think you need to be, you know, a U Butte fantastic sort of artist for this sort of thing. Um you know, I, I, I really don't think you do. I used to do this for my, well, I haven't done it for a long while, for my bullet journal. Just to have something different on the page. And I'm hoping this is going to work been a long time since I've done this and it is kind of effective um, you don't have to like have the whole thing right on the edge just parts of it because you'll see why in a minute I've done mine a bit too close but that's all right I'm not changing it 
And then what you need is some uh, felt tip pens. So you can draw your outline. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to do um, some ink on these afterwards. So, um, and I kind of like my lines not to be perfect and they can be overdrawn as well. All right, slowly getting there. Okay, if you if you don't feel confident to do this, that you can do the same sort of thing with um, some uh, fussy cut flowers. And you know, if you're gonna be brave and give drawing a go um, and it doesn't quite work out how you think it should then you can just do collage over it fix it you know no great loss okay so now I'll just change my pen to one that's a bit, here we go, my brush pen, which is a bit thicker because I want to put the center in. Um, and if your pen that you're using, if you're using a marker of some description or a felt tip pen like me, and it's going to bleed through to the other side like this is starting to bleed through um put a pocket over that section like you know a full length pocket or do some sort of decoupage over it um collage over it all right um I'm just putting in a few shadows, just trying to make it a bit realistic. All right, just semi-realistic. And oh, I've got to do the um, petals here. So I don't know, this is kind of like a poppy that I'm doing. Poppies are really simple. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so when you've got in that bit of detail, uh, the next thing we'll need to do is just some I don't know, little feathery bits. I don't know, you don't have to have it perfect. You can just do your very, very basic flower that you would have done back in your school days. They all look really cool, even those. All right. And I'm going to do some lines here. These are like little stamens or something. I don't know. I have no clue. I'm just doodling. All right. Um, and I better do this line a bit darker because this is uh, an actual petal that's folded over. Now, this one. Oh, these markers are just about run out. Okie dokie. This is just something different. I haven't seen anyone do this. Not in the junk journaling side of things anyway. I... I've seen this before in um if you you know if you're into bullet journals that's where I've seen this um just put some veins on my leaves And I really am only only um, doodling. I'm not being careful with how I'm drawing it. I'm just drawing it in. All right, once you've got that, then you need some small scissors and in a cut, make sure you've got only the page. And you're going to cut out as close to your sketch as possible without cutting on the line. Because you don't want to cut away your details that you've just drawn. Now 
these scissors aren't, aren't the best. If you were into card making, you might have done this for your cards. All right, so. There we go. Done. I just need to sort this. Out. Here we are. Um, I can't paint, uh, put the ink on it just at the moment because that needs to dry and just be left for a little while, otherwise, it'll um, run. Uh, but yeah, I will uh, you'll see it when i do the flip through all right so there's your page that's just another idea that you could do something effective and like i said if you don't have um if you don't have confidence to do that let me just find another page that hasn't got anything on it here we go you can get yourself some of your fussy cut, put them on close to the edge. Basically, you want to have have it so that it's cut out. So you, you're going to cut out around it. So you can look for an arrangement of flowers that you can pop down the side and then just cut that out. You could do that. Um, failing that, you could uh, cut out a um, a basic flower or any kind of flower, just an uh, an ink illustration with no colouring into it, just the the line art, and cut fussy cut that out and put that on, and then cut around it, and then put your colour on it, just like you know it's your drawing sort of thing. So, um, I think that was the only ideas that I didn't get to do last time. Um, yeah, so, and like I said, with the pockets, these, these are quite effective. Um, it's just, you know, another way of using book page. Uh, I'll probably do this for the book page series that I've got that I haven't finished yet. So, um, yeah, we might do some of those. Uh, but, yeah, apart from that, that's all I've got. Um, I did uh, do... Uh, you saw that one. I put in... A pocket thingy so I started putting in some of the bits and pieces I just did a basic embellishment on there um, I used a remnant like an off cut for a pocket here so I've got a, like a little tuck spot and then I just used a um, small card very small card and made a a tuck spot for some more tickets and put in a, a ruffle with some lace over the top uh, yeah just did some more of that what else 
This is the this is the signature from last time. What you didn't get to see because the video was too long. Um, I did a collage on there. Just turned out eh. I put a pocket in and embellished it a little bit, not too much. Uh, put another page tab, and that's it for that one. So, um, yeah, so, yeah. And this one I haven't done too much to. A pocket, a bit of. I did that again. Um, did a basic cluster on the corner of a page, which is what we did last time. Um, put a belly band in with just very minimal amount of stuff on it. And then that with the uh, double tuck spot. wool on there like I did last time there's our collage that we just did before and there's our thingy which I will colour and I think that's all I've done in here so far that's the first signature so that's almost done I think I might just do some stamp stamping and um, that's actually not bled through too badly, so I'll probably just leave that. And I'll put some trim on my tracing paper. Some more stamping on there. I've got to put pockets in somewhere. That's just a flip. And I'll put some ruffle or something up the top. So I'll probably put um, another couple of pockets in this signature. And then and some more stamping. And then I'll move on to the last signature. Um, and then I've just got to do some more charms because I don't have many charms on there. I've only got two charms on there so far. So I'll need to do some more. But it's coming along and I'm still undecided what I'm going to use for my closure. What sort of material. I don't know. So anyway, um, have a good day or evening, wherever you are, and I will see you uh, when I can get another video up as soon as possible. All right. Um, yeah, because uh, Inktober starts on the 1st of October right through to the 31st. So, uh, if anyone wants to see my sketches at the end of it, comment below and uh, I will see what I can do. <laughs> All right, no worries. See you later, everyone. Bye for now.